I am frequently asked this question, and my simple answer is that it is an underwater breathing device that cycles the air that you breathe within a fully or partially closed loop. In fact, the ubiquitous scuba system is a relatively new invention compared to rebreathers, which date back to the 17th century. The first notable working model was developed in 1880 by Henry Fluss to rectify a flooded tunnel in London. Since then, rebreathers have developed significantly with the adoption of new technology and advanced materials. So how does it work? The machine strives to be an extension of your breathing cycle. As you exhale into the unit, the carbon dioxide is absorbed and eliminated by a tightly packed soda-lime mixture contained in a canister. The remaining air, less the oxygen you used up in your previous breath, is then tested by sensors calibrated to verify the current content of this air in the loop. Depending on your dive profile at current depth, and with what you had pre-programmed the computer to do so, the rebreather will draw the necessary air mix from a set of tanks. The diver then inhales refreshed air, and the process repeats itself. What are the advantages? Because the air is not expelled into the environment, as in a traditional scuba open circuit, a few key advantages present themselves. Firstly, your air consumption is significantly reduced in a closed loop, and you do not produce palpable bubbles in the water. This means you can stay underwater for a significantly longer time, and the lack of bubbles produced will less likely scare away skittish marine life, making observation much more enjoyable. The other advantages include breathing warmer and more comfortable air in the loop compared to the colder compressed air from the second stage. What are some challenges? The cost of a rebreather is more than that of an open circuit system. But comparing them based on entry price alone is analogous to asking why a putter costs much less than the driver. They are inherently used for distinct functions. The training to become a rebreather diver is also more involved and demanding due to the complexities in the functionalities of the system. Join us at Dive Lab today to discover the wonderful world of rebreather diving.